So it's around eight o'clock on Monday morning. I know I did not get my video up this weekend and I apologize for that because I sucked at home making last week. I was running around so much doing work that I just didn't have time. And I just, I didn't force myself to do my quick cleans and the house got crazy. But um, I'm gonna kind of show you today the perspective of a working mom, because I am a working mom. And some weeks are worse than other weeks. Um, but also, it's 8 o'clock. I have a very important conference call at 9 o'clock, and so I'm going to go prepare for that. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you my Monday morning cleanup from the weekend because my house is a disaster. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to do our Monday devotions. So here we go. reality part of all this. One of our little Isa Browns got attacked by a hawk while we were doing some stuff inside. But she's starting to perk up a little bit. Leave her alone. I think she just needed to get warm. One of the greatest issues leave her alone, um, with chickens is that when they go into a state of shock, they need warmth. If they don't get warmth, that's when chickens typically die just from being in shock. She's a lot more alert than she was. Yeah. But I know that she's not feeling well. This eye, she was attacked, um, but I think her eye is going to be okay. Today, I want to talk to you about doing it all. Now, my bed is here. Uh, this is before I have made my bed, um, probably in the time lapse, I probably did it, my bed making before this, <laughs> or after this video, but I don't really have any scriptures for you today, because I'm speaking to you directly from Proverbs 31 today, okay? Um, as you know, I am a work at home mom. I work, I still have to work, well I don't have to, but I still like to work to bring in an income for my, for my family. Um, there are a lot of crazy things going on with my work right now, and um, it's all exciting, it's all good stuff, but it's just work. And so I can connect with you on a mom-to-mom -mom level, on a stay-at-home mom level, and on a working mom level. And a lot of people can't say that, but I can connect with you on all three levels. Um, and I have different emotions that I go through every single day. Because of this on days that I'm not working it's just the most amazing day ever and um, but then I have my own struggles with being a mom and a homemaker on days that I am working it's awesome too but it's like well I could be making my home better you know so there are different things that emotions that you go through but today I want to talk to you about doing it all one of the most common things ever since I began blogging that people say to me when I meet them or when I see them it's always oh I follow you on Facebook oh I love reading your blog how do you do it all and when I respond to them well I don't do it all <laughs> they're like what you know you know on the internet we show you the best parts of our lives and I don't disagree with that I am NOT one of those people who says well, they only show you the good parts, not the bad parts. You know what? I like seeing the good parts. If somebody were constantly talking about how bad their life were or how horrible it was or how stressful it was, or I wouldn't follow them. Now, I do keep it real and honest and raw with you, just not about every little thing. Um, but I do show you the good parts. I show you when I have a good dinner, when I make a homemade meal. I show you when... I have a really clean house, although I've been showing you my really bad house too. 
Do I show you when I make fish sticks for dinner? Nope. <laughs> Do I show you when my house is a complete and total utter disaster? And I am just feeling like a sucky, sucky person? Nope. Why would I want to drag you along with me? You know what I mean? But, but, I am slowly discovering that social media steals so much time and joy from us. And more importantly, it steals away our ability to be efficient mothers, efficient wives, efficient homemakers. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. You know, that's like, how do you like them apples? But I'm going to be real and honest with you because this is something that I'm learning about myself. The Proverbs 31 woman, not only did she wake up in the morning to tend to her household and her servants, she made sure her household was in complete order before she left and pursued other job paths throughout the day. She did go out. She considered farmland in a vineyard and she bought it. Doesn't say she went back home and asked her husband if she could do it. And then, no, she took control of it, knowing that her husband trusted her to make those decisions for her family. That's another story for another day. Um, but she did it. And she had that job. And she owned it. And she made clothes for her household. And she did this and she did that. You know why? Because she didn't have 10,000 people on Facebook trying to get a hold of her. She didn't have five friends messaging her throughout the day. She didn't have a TV to get distracted with when uh, Top Chef comes on and you want to watch it while you're stuffing your face with lunch. She didn't have a phone for her mama to call her on 15 times a day to talk about the same thing over and over again. She did not have the distractions that we have today. And guess what? She did it all. Tears! Tears! It is so hard for us in modern society to, uh, to think that a woman could do all these things because we have so many distractions. Is it possible? Probably. Is it possible in today's society? Probably not. But, but, I am discovering each and every week of this challenge that the less social media I have in my life, the more I get done. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? This week was a bust. This week was a total bust. But the first two and a half weeks, I did a lot. I got my house clean. I kept my house in order. I got work done. I homeschooled. I was a great mom. I was a pretty good wife. And I even took on more projects, upcoming projects. I considered it. I owned it. And we're moving forward. And I felt like a pretty good Proverbs 31 woman. I got it done. I got it done. Like I've never in my life done it all. And I got it all done. Because I blocked out social media. I took Facebook off my phone. Um, doesn't mean I stayed off Facebook completely, obviously. Uh, I, I, I downloaded the Facebook groups app and I downloaded the Facebook messenger app that I turned my messenger notifications off and I turned my group notifications off. So, um, do you know how hard it is to get on your web browser, on your phone, to get on Facebook? It's very hard. So I didn't get on Facebook a lot. I wasn't constantly on my phone. Um, the phone wasn't ringing off the hook cause I was like, listen, don't call me until, unless you're bleeding, dying, somebody's gone away or, or, or whatever. I didn't have the distractions and I got a lot done. And it reminded me of Esther Emery's Ted talk. Um, and about her just disconnecting and being non addicted to social media anymore. And Esther and I talk quite frequently. We were just talking about this the other day about how, you know, being addicted to the internet and social media is like, it's not something that we want to tell ourselves that we're addicted to, but we are. Even as moms, oh, here's a photo of my kid. Oh, hey, my kid pooped today for the first time on the toilet. Oh, here's what I made for dinner. Oh, here's a good recipe. Oh, look at that little fun little video on how they show you how to make stuff. Oh my gosh, look at the drama over on this page today. Oh my gosh, my friend just said that. What is she, is she talking about me? You know, come on, come on. We do this, we do this. We get distracted, we get addicted to social media. 
So, this is week four. I don't know if I'm going to get this up on Monday or not because I got a lot of stuff to do today. But I encourage you to change your mindset up. Maybe I can do it all. Now, I'm not saying, guys, you have to have a perfect house. That's not what I'm saying. But the basics, the basis to the Proverbs 31 woman's life, tending to her family, tending to her household, and getting the job done, I don't think that's completely unreasonable. Now, did she do it all herself? I don't think so. I think that people in her household had jobs. Tangie did a great talk on that uh, the other day. Um, and so I really encourage you to listen to that too. But could she get it all done? Yes, she did get it all done. Because that was her life. And she didn't have to share her life with anybody else other than her family. And I think that's a really big deal. So there's your encouragement for the week. That's week four devotion. My goal this week is to get my house completely spotless and finish decluttering it. Don't think it's going to happen, but we're going to try it. So hope you guys enjoyed this devotional. Hope you guys have a great week. Hope you guys are doing great. Don't forget to join our Homestead Homemaking Facebook group, which is linked below. And I uh, hope you have a, a fun time decluttering if you're decluttering this week. Have a great week, guys. Happy home studying and happy home making.